Welcome to Electron Online, and here's a good example where, again, if we apply the limit, you'll find you end up with an indeterminate form. Let's try that. Let's plug in x equals 0, and so that would be equal to 1 minus the cosine of 0 divided by 0 squared. The cosine of 0 is 1. That would be 1 minus 1 divided by 0, which is 0 divided by 0, and therefore undetermined. So let's use L'Hopital's rule. Let's go ahead and take the derivative of the numerator and the denominator and see what happens. So this is equal to the limit as x goes to 0. The derivative here of 1 is 0, and the derivative of the cosine of x is the minus sine of x, because the derivative of sine is a cosine. So it would be minus a minus sine of x. Huh, I said minus and I wrote 1. That doesn't make a lot of sense, but let's... There we go. And the de denominator would be 2x. And so this would be equal to uh, the limit as x goes to 0 of minus times the minus the positive, so the sine of x divided by 2x. Now if I apply the limit, notice if I plug in 0 for x, the sine of 0 is 0. If we look in 0 for x here, that's also 0. Again, I end up with a 0 divided by 0 situation. So what we're going to do now is take the Hopinol's rule again. Again, the, the derivative of the denominator divided by the derivative of the denominator. So this is equal to the limit as x goes to 0. The derivative of the sine is the cosine of x, and the derivative of 2x is simply 2. Now we can go ahead and apply the limit, because when we do, we get the cosine of 0 divided by 2. The cosine of 0 is 1, and so 1 half is the ultimate answer for that problem. So here you can see again that you have to apply L'Hopital's rule more than once before you can go ahead and apply the limits. And that's how we do that.